We've all heard stories of far-off, primitive tribes hurling virgins into the mouth of a fiery volcano in their attempt to appease some particularly capricious god. What is that unfortunate girl's fate, though, as she falls to her fiery death? What's it like to die inside of a burning pit of lava and sulfur? Hello and welcome to another episode of the Infographic Show. Today we're taking a look at what happens to your body when you fall into a volcano. Falling into a volcano is not going to be a pleasant fate for anyone. Yet in 2007, a Maasai porter fell into the rim of an active volcano and managed to survive, albeit with some burns. Fortunately for that porter, the reason he survived is that the particular volcano he fell into has what's known as natrocarbonatite lava, which is rich in sodium and potassium carbonate minerals, and nirarite, which is a unique combination that makes the lava cool very quickly when coming in contact with the air. This lava burns at around 510 degrees Celsius, or half the temperature of normal lava, and because the porter fell near the lava and not directly on it, he was able to survive. But what happens to our sacrificed version as she's hurled into a fiery mouth of doom, like an unwitting golem trying to save his precious? First, it's likely that as she falls through the air, she'll quickly suffocate from the noxious gases produced by the volcano. If not immediately suffocated, however, she'll likely completely sear her lungs as she inhales the superheated gas amidst the desperate screaming. With lungs burnt to a crisp and noxious gas coursing through her bloodstream, our sacrificed version will be near death already before even hitting the lava below. Depending on the type of volcano and the shape of the rim she's hurled into, her body will next likely burst into flames as she approaches the lava, but before she physically hits it. That's because radiant heat can superheat the air above and around the volcano mouth, making it reach temperatures so high that human flesh immediately ignites. Just seconds after being hurled into the mouth of the volcano, our sacrificed version has turned into a fiery human comet, though the worst is unfortunately still to come. Despite what you've seen in the movies, most lava is incredibly dense, anywhere from two to three times as dense as water. This is, after all, liquid rock we're talking about. That means that a human body is going to float on its surface, and because lava is also anywhere from thousands to millions of times more viscous than water, a human body impacting the surface is unlikely to deform it enough to sink beneath the surface. Our virgin, if she's miraculously still alive, is then going to impact the surface of the lava with so much force that she'll break most bones in her body and remain stuck on the surface. Although variations in lava and temperatures across different volcanoes may possibly see her sink a few inches below. If she hadn't burst into flames from the radiant heat during her fall, she certainly will now, as she rests on the lava itself. With temperatures reaching up to 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, she will immediately burst into flames hot enough to reduce her body to ash within seconds. For anyone hoping to recover any remains for a proper burial, there'll be nothing left but ash floating in the wind to collect. Any metal filings, jewelry, or medical implants will also be incinerated, although a titanium medical implant may possibly survive, given titanium's melting point of 3034 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you hurled your aging Aunt May into the mouth of a volcano, you you might have her hip implant left to remember her by. It's clear after our investigation that movies like Terminator 2 and Lord of the Rings lied to us. A fall into a fiery volcano won't mean a dramatic emotional goodbye, but rather result in an instant fireball and a smattering of ashes moments later, with just your bones burning for a minute or so after that. What other places and what they would do to your body would you like to know about? Also, be sure to check out our other video called Spend a Billion in 24 Hours or Lose It All Challenge. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.